Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. So welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to create track bars and we're going to start uh, playing around uh, with track bars and, and changing the contrast and the brightness of images and it's, it becomes very handy especially when you're dealing with, with pictures uh, and, and changing different color spaces. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open and let's search into a, a Raspberry Pi and I'm going to open another one here okay created a folder already with um, and here it is and as you can see it has the the template for the C++ file the C++ file that we're going to use the uh, the Python file and also the the image that we're going to be using okay uh, the first thing I'm going to show you do it on this side. Let's show you the create track bar. Whoops, gotta go into that tutorial first. 13. This uh, nano. Well, let's show you the, the make f first. And as you can see, I'm creating the project with the create track bar name the create trackbar executable and the create trackbar C++ file and, uh, and the linker okay and let's show you now the C++ file the C++ file is, is I'm using the namespaces like we did in, in the last tutorial uh, we're using the slider here this is what is it's going to have a max of 0 and 1 for the max for the trackbar the slider the object the image the function creating the trackbar all it's doing is taking this uh, this object here and it's creating an image result it's asking if the position is greater than 0 from 0 to 1 if it's, uh, it's greater than zero, for example, uh, anything after uh, zero, it will take the and convert this object right here into the IMG result, okay? And create it uh, a gray or whatever you want. You can do it, change it like we did in the last tutorial. You can put HSV there, or you can uh, uh, CLAP and so on, okay? And else, if it's not, the position greater to zero just keep showing the image that we have here that's all it's doing okay this is the main function is uh, decoding the image creating the name window uh, in showing the image uh, the the slider uh, bar the create track bar this is the text that is going to appear on the track bar and the slider here for zero to the max which is one and then the on track bar calling for the function uh, track bar uh, call a function call okay and then keep the loop going until a press uh, is press uh, car with the uh, queue okay and keep waiting forever until the the uh, keys enter okay nothing new similar the only difference here is, is the track bar let's now run it Uh, let's do C make and um, I, I will be doing the same thing but in Python after we do we do it uh, to C++ and now let's do uh, make and it's doing it ok 
Okay, it's almost done. And let's ls to look at it. It's there. So now let's run it. Create trackbar. And as you can see, it opens the window. The original size, and it gives you the trackbar right here, BGR or um, blue, green, and red to the color space. You can play around with the trackbar and, and change uh, the sizes. And also you can see as long as I press into the trackbar you can see it's changing into black and also you can see the, the trackbar uh, is full now. So if I go back you're gonna see it's gonna change back to color. And as you can see it's doing it. And it's very nice, it's a very simple program, but it's uh, very nice because it shows you uh, very easily how how they work and how you can uh, program and, and, and you can tweak the program. I'm going to include it in my website. And now let's do it uh, using uh, uh, Python. And in the Python code, let's show you here. I took the, well, let me show you first. Uh, this is part of um, if you go back into your uh, into your documentation into your samples of the two uh, OpenCV 2.48 or 2.46 whatever you're using right now if you go into the sample section into Python I think it's Python 1 or, or the Python 2 folder there's a file there called uh, um, histograms uh, demhist I believe is the name of it and uh, what I did, I I took this this um, the their file here. This is the name demhist uh, two, I believe it is. And uh, you just all you need to do. What I did was it shows the histograms, but I didn't want to do the histograms, so I just replaced the code and took out the, the histogram section and just used the trackbar. This is a little bit more complicated than the C++ one, but I wanted to show you because this is a very flexible and it can be tweaked and, and you can do all kinds of things to it. So I just wanted to give you the example. This is using functions, as you can see. It's got uh, the update brightness, the update contrast, and then one that is the bright contrast that it does both. The initial here. Uh, it's, this is cloning, the clone making a, a, a clone image of the original image. This is the, the self source image, whatever the source is. It's asking you for an argument, so you have to enter an argument. You have to enter a, a, the name of a picture when you're running the Python. I'm going to show you. And this is, I left it alone. This is what it has the original on the OpenCV.org projects, but um, it's a nice it's a nice piece of code because it shows you um, how to do it, and you can hear this is the the main part of the code right here that that is doing most of the work. Okay, so let's run it. Got to do the to enter the as I told you you need to enter the name the argument so you have to put in whatever you image you're working with and as you can see this is the one and it you can change the brightness you can play around as you can see it changes you can change the contrast if you, I don't know if you remember the the dem histogram uh, file that it comes. Uh, it, this is doing only the the part of the picture. The other part of that I took out, it, it does the histograms. And you can go back uh, there and and run it, and you can play around with it, and you can tweak it, and uh, and, and you you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And it can become very handy. For some of your projects okay but this is the end of the tutorial I, I show you how to do 
uh, trackbars, create trackbars in C++ and how to create them in Python. If you like this tutorial, please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.